Hello! If you are planning for a short trip to Seattle and wonder what to see there, this video will give you a few ideas. Upon arriving to Seattle in the late afternoon, we went to the center of the city to stop by Uwajimaya Supermarket, got some food, and went on our way to probably the best vista point, the Cary Park. It is situated uphill, and you can see the whole harbor and downtown, including a famous landmark, the Space Needle Tower. The park is small and may seem crowded, but you can find parking spots if you are willing to walk a few blocks. The sun was setting and its warm light illuminated the skyscrapers. You can see Mount Rainier through the haze. A lovely sight from the distance and a good way to get started on getting to know the city. Having a sandwich while enjoying the views could be a highlight of your first day in Seattle. The next stop was a few miles down the hill at Gasworks Park. The parking is too small for the amount of visitors this park receives, so you do have to drive around hoping for someone to leave. The park is huge. It used to be a plant that converted coal and oil into natural gas, which was used for heating houses, cooking, and even for illuminating with gas lamps. Its rusty metal installations are still there behind the fence. Go around the hill and you will have a great view of the city and the busy life at the marina from the ground level. The next morning started with Pike Place Market near the piers. We parked nearby on the street and walked by a curious sight of police unlocking the benches. Pike Place Market is a famous place to shop for souvenirs and for drinking coffee at the first ever Starbucks coffee shop opened across the street in 1971 with a single employee. The market itself is a curious place, but you have to remember that there are a few different levels and many passages. So you do need to walk around to explore, because it's easy to miss a few curious spots, or even a whole floor. Make sure you find Yeti's wooden statue and the huge squid, as well as take a picture with the pig made of bronze. After driving along the piers, we took a broad street towards the Space Needle. Driving around to get familiar with the place before you park can help in a big city like Seattle. We ended up parking in front of Cisco's building and a few blocks from an IMAX theater, and walked towards the tower. The line to get up to the observation deck was unbearably long, and we opted for visiting the exhibit with glass sculptures instead. This gallery is called Chihuly Garden and has a collection of large things made of colored glass. Pictures were allowed, but not for publication. Sorry. It was midday at the end of July and the temperature was well above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So the next stop was the Arboretum. Guess who we saw hiding in the shade? As always, we tried to see not only the large things like the magnificent trees, but small details a pattern created by the fungi on the leaves or a centipede munching on an earthworm. Unfortunately, we did not get much relief from the heat and had to go back to the hotel to await the evening's cooler temperatures. The last place we checked out was campus of the University of Washington. The library building was spectacular, but it was too late to see it from the inside. The campus is a collection of brick buildings arranged in an orderly manner according to some grand design. It left an impression of respectful organization. The sculpture of Truxton Noble III was an interesting find. This artist painted over 37,000 pictures of the same spruce tree that grew on his family property. According to my calculations, it had to be two or more paintings a day, every day, for most of his life. You would definitely get into the Guinness Book of World Records nowadays. Thanks for watching, good luck in your endeavors, and if you subscribe to the channel, till next time. Cheers!